Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to be talking about solar charging on the Garmin Forerunner 955 Solar Watch. Now, this is one of the few videos that's only going to work for you if you have the solar version, because obviously the non-solar version isn't going to have some of these features. A lot of people will discuss in the forums and on reviews whether or not it's worth it to spend the extra money for the solar charging version versus the non-solar version. And I'll tell you, it's really a personal uh, choice. If you think the solar version is going to give you unlimited battery life, and a lot of people think, oh, it's going to be like my Casio Pro Trek, where I don't ever have to plug it in, it's just going to stay running the whole time, you're going to be really disappointed with the solar version, not only of the Forerunner 955, but of any of the Garmin watches. What the solar charging will do, though, is it'll extend that amount of time between you having to plug it in and charge it. You're going to get a few extra days out of the solar version, but is it worth it to spend the extra hundred bucks? Kind of depends on your thoughts with that. I got it because for me personally, I just think it's kind of a cool feature. You've got a little, you got a few extra bells and whistles that you're going to get with the solar version versus non. There's something kind of cool about wearing the watch, having it in light or sunlight, and being able to see what kind of solar charging you're getting. And that's what I'm going to show you in today's video. So first and foremost, the way you can see this is there's a data field available for you that looks just like this. You can see the sun and you can see a percentage. Now, a lot of people think, oh, solar charging is only going to work if I'm out in the sun. That's not true. So I'm going to take a flashlight here and I'm going to simply turn on the flashlight, shine it on the watch, give it a couple seconds to read, and we should see that solar intensity value go up. Now, obviously, a flashlight isn't going to charge as much as being out in the sun, but just to show you, that regular light will charge it. So if you have this watch sitting underneath a lamp or you're in an office working or something like that, any little bit of light source you're getting will charge the watch. You can actually see my intensity is pretty good. Now, if I walked outside in the sunlight, that 23% value would go up a lot higher because the sun obviously is gonna give you a lot more of a charge. But you can have a data field on here to show you the solar intensity that you're getting. Now, that's not your battery percentage. Down here is my battery percentage until I'm dead. This is just a solar uh, charging indicator as a data field. The other thing you can do is you can go download what's called the solar intensity glance. If you've got the Garmin Forerunner 955 Solar, you should automatically have this glance on your watch. This is a touchscreen watch, so if you're using touchscreen functionality, you can simply swipe up or down to go to your glances. If you want to use the touchscreen, whoops, let me go back here. You want to use the if you don't want to use the touchscreen, you can simply use the up or down button and you can go into your glance list. And this is what we're looking at. There's a solar intensity glance. From a glance view, it's going to show you the amount of intensity of solar power you've gotten over the last six hours time. If you click on the top right button or if you're touchscreen and you click on the actual uh, glance and go into it, it'll show you the last three hours and it'll show you what's been your lowest point of solar intensity as well as what's been your highest. So the highest I've gotten in the last three hours is 83%. And then I've get, again, I've got this bar graph down here that kind of shows me what's been going on over those last three hours. You can go into your Garmin Connect uh, app on your cell phone and you can see more information about the solar intensity. But in terms of on the watch, this is about the extent of what you're gonna be able to see. Once you're done with the glance, you can simply press the back button get back to your main watch face and we've successfully checked out what kind of solar charging we've been getting on our watch in the last few hours. As always, I hope the video helps. If you enjoy watch videos, I hope you'll think about subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching.